As you may know, there is one Xiaomi Bluetooth temperature and humidity sensor that becomes very popular lately, because it is cheap, it is good looking and its battery lasts forever. On top, you can add this Xiaomi TNH sensor to your home assistant relatively easy. But now, the whole process of adding the Xiaomi to home assistant becomes even easier, as there is a new method that I'm about to show you today. First, let's see what is needed. Of course, you need the Xiaomi temperature and humidity sensor itself. The device is really small, it uses a Bluetooth for the wireless communication and it is battery powered. I have one here that is running for about a year now and the battery is still at 100%, which is either amazing or there is something wrong with the battery reporting. But even if it's the latter and the battery die right now, it is still impressive as one year of operation with one cheap battery is pretty good deal in my honest opinion. One more important thing about the sensor before we move on is the fact that the Bluetooth communication of the device is encrypted and if you want to use it outside of the Xiaomi mobile app, you have to extract the encryption key of the device. Don't worry, that is very easy and I'll show you later how to do it from your browser. If you want to buy the Xiaomi Bluetooth temperature and humidity sensor, I can recommend to get it from AliExpress website, where it costs around 5 US dollars, including the shipping and a battery. If you buy a bundle of 3 or 4 devices at once, you can lower the price to around $4 per piece. I will leave some affiliate links in the video description if you decide to buy some. And affiliate links means that I'll get a small commission from your purchases with no additional cost for you, which is kind of a win-win situation. Anyways, the next thing that you will need is a running home assistant, preferably on a device that has embedded Bluetooth. Perfect example for this is a Raspberry Pi. If your home assistant device is not having a Bluetooth, you need a Bluetooth dongle. I will leave some compatible dongles below in the description. And if you don't have home assistant yet, now is the best time to invite you on my free home assistant webinar, where I'll talk about four official ways to get home assistant plus one not official but super easy and fast way to start home assistant in under 5 minutes. Go to my website and register right now. As I said, it is absolutely free. As summary, you need one or more Xiaomi temperature and humidity sensors and Home Assistant installed on a device with a Bluetooth support. Also, you have to download the Xiaomi Home app available in App Store and Google Play and to add your device inside. This is a pretty standard procedure that don't need a lot of explanations, but it is a must before you continue further. If you have that already, it is time to get the encryption key, or also known as bind key of the Xiaomi device, so we can add it to Home Assistant successfully. Thanks to our own, who made a web tool that can extract the encryption key, this whole process is no longer an issue. Everything is done wirelessly without any soldering or complicated procedures. All that is needed is the Xiaomi sensor and your phone or laptop browser. I'll open the Telling Flasher webpage, you can find the link in the video description. I'll remove the battery of my Xiaomi sensor and I'll insert it back, that is to wake the sensor up. Then I'll click on connect and now I have to find my Xiaomi device somewhere here. I have a lot of Bluetooth devices, most of them are coming from SwitchBot. I have to wait a little bit, it is still scanning. Here it is, LYW something, I'll click on it and I'll click pair. Status connected, you can now do activation to either get the token or flash the new firmware. I'll click on this do activation. And this is it, my bind key. This is what I needed for the Home Assistant integration. Until very recently to add the Xiaomi temperature and humidity sensor in Home Assistant, 
you have to install a custom integration called Passive BLE Monitor, which is still working fine. And if you want to know more, you can check my other video about the same Xiaomi sensor and Home Assistant and how to get everything working. But this is the old way of integrating Xiaomi TNH with Home Assistant. Now, I will show you the new one. Starting from Home Assistant 2022.8, there is a new Bluetooth integration which allows adding a lot of Bluetooth devices natively, including this Xiaomi temperature and humidity sensor. Now, every Bluetooth device that is in range and that is recognized by Home Assistant should be auto-discovered and ready to be configured. Have in mind that in order to preserve the battery power, the Xiaomi temperature sensor is transmitting signals in intervals. That means the Xiaomi sensor is sleeping most of the time and it will not be auto discovered by Home Assistant immediately. After 30 seconds or so, the device gets auto discovered and I can click on configure button. There has been a broadcast from this device in the last minute. Submit. Finish. Great. If I click on the device now, I'll see that there are no sensors, temperature and humidity sensors yet. That's because the bin key is not added yet to encrypt the communication. And finally, probably after 45 minutes, I have this label, attention required and a big reconfigure button. I also have a new notification that is uh, saying integration requires a reconfiguration. I tried a lot of things. I tried to restart Home Assistant and to remove and insert the battery immediately after Home Assistant start. To force the things up, I tried to reload the integration and many things more, but nothing helps. If you know how to force these, please let me know in the comments as this will be very, very useful to me and for others who are trying the same. Now, I just have to click reconfigure button and to paste my bind key or encryption key here and to click submit. Xiaomi BLE re-authentication was successful and I can close this. And now I have one device with two entities. If I click on the device, I'll see the temperature inside Home Assistant. Soon after that, the humidity will be also displayed as well as the battery percentage. Great. From now on, you can use the Xiaomi Bluetooth temperature and humidity sensor in Home Assistant for automations, scripts, or just to monitor the temperature remotely. I want to know your opinion. Can you share in the comment section what do you like or what do you don't like about this Xiaomi sensor? It will be very interesting to me and to others who are watching this channel. Thank you for watching. I'm Kiryu. I'm done speaking. Bye.